Hello, hello, how are you doing over there? I'm doing fine. In today's video, we are going to discuss the theme of determination and we are going to focus with the different characters who are determined in the novel. How has the writer presented the theme of determination? Stay tuned because I'm going to give you a detailed explanation. First, before we explain, before I explain the theme of determination, let us first understand what determination is. And determination is firmness of, of purpose or the quality that makes someone want to try do, doing something even though it seems hard at, until they achieve that thing that they want to do. Okay, we're going to start with the first character. Raisin and Sayu are determined to join the Egerton University. But Raisin is more determined. From the moment that we met Raisin at the beginning of the novel, she expresses her desire of joining the Egerton University and she wants to be a veterinary doctor just like her role model Emma Kerere. She also asks her sister Tayo to talk to their father about joining the Egerton University, but Tayo does not get that chance to talk to their father. That does not make Christian to give to give up, she still hopes that one day she's gonna join the Egerton University. And she talks to her father twice. And even after her father declined for the second time, she also does not give up. And she tells him that she must join the Egerton University even if she'll be 80 years old. And later on, through the help of Mini Kenyungritis, she managed to join the Egerton University together with her sister Tayo. Number two we have, Minique Eningwitoi is determined to rescue young girls from female genital mutilation and early marriages. And the people of Nasila valued their tradition. That's why they hated Minique and they called her names. For example, she was referred to as a wasp and a devil incarnate. But that does not stop her from fighting for the rights of the girls. So during the homecoming ceremony, all Ole Musanga cast Minik in Ingetoi and he said she should go down with the setting sun. That shows the intensity of that conflict. But that does not also make Minik to give up. And by the end of the novel, or as the novel ends, Minik in Ingetoi had rescued over 500 girls who were at her range from the two FGM in early marriage. Number three, Resian is determined not to be circumcised. And she said herself, she'll, she'll be circumcised over her dead body. And that is why she had uh, to escape from her home. Because for you to be married, you, you must be circumcised first. When she escaped, she landed at the hands of Olaringue, who also betrayed her and wanted to have her circumcised. Through the help of Nabaru, she managed to escape and she made her role model, Mini Kenengoitoi. The next point is, Resian is determined not to be circum not to be married by Oloi Sudori and she told him she'll be his wife over her dead body. And she goes to an extent of telling her father she'd rather die than get married to the monster. All this shows that she doesn't want to be married to Loisudori. And after after her father told her that she he had taken the worry from Loisudori, Resian escapes. And the next point, Olarinkoi and his mother are determined to have Resian circumcised. And in the book we are told there is no amount of persuasion was likely to make them change their mind and that is why Resian and Nabaru had to look for a way to escape in order to avoid Resian being circumcised before marrying Alarinkoi. Those are some of the points that I was having to support the theme of determination but we have some more points like Resian and Tayo they are determined to, to meet their role model Emma Kerere, you can try and explain that. We can also have Ole Sudori is determined to marry Resian and so on. In case you see any other evidence from the book that supports, that supports determination, just let me know. 
So that is the end. Thank you for watching. Bye bye. I'll see you next time.